In order to make these classes as freely as accessible as possible to our participants, we will be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of the class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical injury that may result from your, oh, whoops, physical activity programs may result in injury. And by participating, you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation. Participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you've moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or class that involves lying on the ground, we recommend using a mat or if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice or care as needed. William & Mary Health and Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical examination and follow the advice of your healthcare provider before participating. So thank you guys so much for coming to BAR this morning. I'm Annie. Um, we're just gonna start in standing. Um, feel free to make sure you have some water with you. So if you are following along to the playlist, I will not be joining you, but I will be playing it with no sound. Um, so I can still, we can still somehow feel like we're all listening to the same thing. Um, so if you want, you can get that started on up. And we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. Our knees are grounded right underneath our hips. Our heels are underneath our knees. So we have this perfect line going down. You should feel pretty stable base. You can bend your knees just a little bit. Shake side to side and no one's gonna stop you. We're gonna start by taking our right leg, sending it back behind our left into our curtsy lunge. So bending both of those knees, our hips are tucked under, our back is flat and coming back into just our um, shoulder width stance. Alternating side to side, you can put your hands into a prayer like position. You can move them out to the side and back together, whatever you're in the mood for this morning. So if you haven't done bar before, bar is a mixture of traditional strength training, yoga and Pilates. Um, we're gonna move, make really small muscle movements to target your core, your glutes, your quads, um, everything, especially in the lower half of your body. And we'll get in some arm work this morning as well. Um, but by all means, as you know, this is a virtual class, so you can go at your own pace. Um, you can feel free to take a break as you need. Make this class your own. I know it's early, um, so it's amazing that all of you are joining me um, in the first place. So we'll do this for our last four, three, two, and last one. Go ahead and shake those legs out. I'm gonna move my mat back just a touch. I realize you guys might not be able to see all of me this morning. So we're gonna grab a nice quad stretch, pulling our heel towards our glute, feeling that nice stretch in the front of our quad on our right side. Shaking out this leg, we're switching sides, grabbing onto our left foot. Feeling that nice stretch from our hip flexing through our knee. Shaking it on out. So this time we're gonna be extending into our side lunge. So making our um, stance very wide, we're sending our right leg down, sending our hips back, making that nice flat line with our back and alternating sides. You guys can see the sun trickling in maybe as I go to my left. <laughs> a little darker on my right side. But you should be able to feel a little bit of a stretch in that inner thigh. Maybe that glute kick on. This whole time bracing that core. Doing this for our last four. Last two here, making sure we're breathing throughout this whole movement. So you're gonna shake it out. We're gonna switch now between and add in that curtsy lunge. So we're gonna combine the two moves that we just did together. So sending our right leg back, our hips pointed forward. We're bending, going down on a curtsy lunge and then extending long. 
into our side lunge. So we're just gonna target our right side first. Whoop. Alternating between the two. So as we go into our curtsy lunge, our hips are not being set back. We're moving straight up and down in a line. But as we sink into our side lunge, our hips are being set back. Doing this for our last four. As we go into our side lunge, making sure that we're not letting our knee track over our toes. This is our last one here. We're shaking out this right leg, switching side. You can go over towards the left side of your mat, starting in our curtsy lunge, sending our left leg back before we extend it long into our side lunge. Heating up our body this morning. Getting it nice and warm. Maybe this feels like a nice, good stretch in those legs. If you're like me, you might have just woken up a little bit ago, so this is a great way to start your day. As we go into our curtsy lunge, making sure that we're not turning those hips to the side, but we're keeping them straight in front of us. Just like two headlights shining right at your computer screen. Doing just two more reps here. And on this last one, you're gonna meet me in our side lunge. So holding it here in our side lunge, we should feel that glute on our left side activate that inner thigh. We're going straight up, back down, four reps here. We should be able to feel it target that quad on our left side, doing this full motion for our last four. Last three. Last two, we're gonna move it down just a little bit, starting halfway down, going all the way down. Halfway up, all the way down. So just cutting that range of motion in half, we're beginning to target that um, quad a little bit more. Maybe getting a little bit warmer. So this is not quite a pulse, we're keeping it nice and controlled here. Just limiting that movement, making sure that we're engaging that core. Doing this for our last four, last three, last two, and last one. Go ahead, shake out that left leg. We're gonna switch sides, this time sending our right leg long. Before we do that, let's take our shoulders up, back and down, breathing out as we send them down, let our shoulders, shoulder blades go back. We're gonna extend our right leg this time, doing that same full range of motion. Side lunge, our toes are pointing in front of us. Maybe already feeling it in that right glute here. Doing this for our last four, last three, Last two, we're gonna cut it in half, going halfway down, all the way down. So again, again, not quite a pulse. Our weight is in those heels. We can wiggle our toes underneath us here, capitalizing on that form. We should have a proud chest. You might be able to read my William & Mary Campus Rep t-shirt. Maybe you're also donating a a nice t-shirt this morning, being able to read the words in your camera. Doing this for our last four, last three, last two, and last one. Go ahead, shaking it on out. You can grab some water if you'd like. We're transitioning out of our warm up, going into a simple squat progression. So keeping those shoulders, those feet shoulder width distance apart, we're grounded in our heels, in our toes, so even as we stand here, you can kind of rock between the tops of your toes into your heels. You should feel very grounded. All right, we're gonna sink back into our heels, keeping our weight there. Let's tuck our hips a little bit under. We should feel our core engage. Taking a deep breath in, sending those shoulders up towards our ears, back and breathing out, sending them down. We should feel very good posture here. If someone tried to push us over, we would just stay right where we are. 
we're gonna go into our normal squat progression. So we're gonna be sending our hips back, creating a nice line with our back. I'll go on my side so you can get a better idea of our form. So we wanna make sure that our core is engaged. Our pelvis is tilted slightly, but we're still sending those hips back. So we have our pelvis tilted just a little bit up, and then we're sending those hips back into our squat, making that nice long line with our back and coming back up together. So just doing our four into motion squats before we spice it up a little bit. You should feel really grounded in those heels. I know for me, as I go down, I can kind of feel the floor pushing beneath me, maybe ripping my mat in two. Doing this for our last four before we switch it on up. Checking that breath on our last one. This time we're gonna be going down for two reps here before you meet me at the bottom in a triple pulse. So meeting me at the bottom, we're doing our pulse for three, two, one, back up into our two reps, full reps here. Going back down into our triple pulse for three, two, one, back into our reps. So just spicing it up a little bit here. I'm gonna return to facing you all. Three, two, one. And as we go into our pulse, we're keeping it nice and controlled. So that means going a little bit slower. Listen to your body this morning. So we're working that range of motion. Going full and then cutting that range of motion and maybe what in the eighth. Targeting those muscles in different ways, keeping them alert. Doing this for our last four here together. Might have done three on that one. <laughs> you guys are killing it. We have our last set together and our last pulse here to one, go ahead, shake out those legs. We're gonna be switching into our second position stance. So if you do have those weights, you can use them this morning, but if you don't, you can also get in the work without the weights. Um, you'll still feel it. So we're gonna start in our second position. So we'll actually start in our first position. So what I'll have you do is we're, our feet are together, toes are pointed forward, we're gonna rock back and forth onto those toes and heels. Whenever you feel grounded, sink into those heels, glue your heels together and then send your toes wide, open them up into our first position stance. So you should feel very grounded in this stance. We're gonna move into our second position. So if you've been in bar before, you might know, it's gonna be a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. Our toes are still gonna be pointed wide towards the walls beside you. Our hips are gonna be tucked underneath us. So as we squat down, we're not sending our hips back like we do in a squat. So we're gonna keep our weights on our sides, sending our hips down and straightening back up. We're sliding up and down the wall here, going into our full range of motion. Exhaling on our way down. making sure that we're not sending those knees in towards each other, sending them long over those toes. Doing this for our last four here together. Last two. On this last one, we're gonna change up our arm position. So this time, bringing your forearms together in front of you. This is gonna feel like a little bit of a challenge. Can't see my face here, but we're gonna bring our arms wide into our field goal and bring them back together. So wide as we go down and back together as we come up. Checking in on that breath. As we send those hips down, we have that nice flat back. I'll turn on my side so you can see here. 
creating a nice long line from our shoulders to our hips, not sending those hips back behind us. So keeping that proud chest here, maybe feeling it more in those biceps, in those shoulders. As we work to bring those elbows together, make sure that we're bringing those elbows together. Don't just press the weights, bring the elbows. Should be your goal to touch your elbows together. If you can, doing this for our last four, last three, last two. On this last one, meet me halfway down in your stance here together. I'll turn back towards you guys. We're gonna be switching up those weights so bringing them forward, um, we're letting our palms face our face. We're gonna send our weights down and back up, just holding it halfway down here, not moving those legs at all. All we're doing is moving those arms. Maybe you're already feeling it kick in those shoulders. I know I am this morning. And doing this for our last four. Last two. On this last one, we're gonna keep them bent up in that 90 degree angle here. And we're gonna move them half an inch up, half an inch down, maybe more like an inch up. <laughs> so feeling it really target those shoulder blades, burning out those shoulders this morning. Doing this for our last four, three, last two. Breathing through that last one. Shake out those arms. We can drop those weights, sending our arm across our chest, grabbing above or below that elbow joint, making sure we don't let this right shoulder creep up to our ear, sending it back behind us, scooping it behind us, switching sides, going on over towards our left arm, feeling that stretch in that tricep. and shaking it out here. We're done with our weights for a little bit. We're gonna transition into our, our portion of the class. So grab whatever you need. I know I'm gonna be working with my chair, so I'm gonna be adjusting that, but take a second. We can, it's a good place to grab some water, grab a towel maybe if you have it. Take a little break here. We're gonna be transitioning. So what I'll have you do is if you wanna face whatever you're gonna be holding onto, so if it's a wall, if it's a chair, if it's a counter, you can also go on your side as well. I'm just gonna be demonstrating by turning towards um, the object or the, the barrier that we're holding onto this morning. So if you've done any butt, click, like butt kicks maybe in the sport before, you'll know what these are. But very simply, we're gonna be standing here in our shoulder width distance. Um, our hips are slightly tucked underneath. We're gonna keep a flexed foot, send a little bit of weight into our right leg. So whatever back leg that might be for you, we're gonna be slowly taking this left leg up off the ground. So staying grounded in that slightly bent right leg taking his left leg off the ground, bringing that heel up towards your glute, and then slowly lowering it back down towards the floor. This doesn't look like we're doing much yet, but just to wait, <laughs> you'll begin to feel it fire in those hamstrings. So keeping this full range of motion here, maybe thinking of what you ate for breakfast this morning, what your plans are for the day. Same dog for the weekend, not too far away. <laughs> and bringing that foot almost into that 90 degree, even beyond 90, if you can. Already feeling it kick in on my hamstring in the back of that leg on my left side. Making sure that we're not sinking into that standing leg. We don't wanna have that pressure ball feeling. So if you need to kind of bend that leg, switch it up if you need, um, adjust to make sure that we're not sinking into that back standing leg. 
So doing this for our last four before we change up our motion. Last two. On this last one, we're gonna start halfway up, come all the way up. Halfway down, all the way up. <laughs> kind of mixes me up on that one. But keeping that foot flex, we should feel that power all the way through into our big toe. Maybe already feeling it. Kick in in that glute. Doing this for our last four, last three, last two. Holding it here at the top if you can. Doing this nice static hold, bringing that heel as close to your glute as you can. For four, three, two, one. Slowly lowering that down, shaking out that right leg. We're switching sides. I'm gonna switch my chair around, but you can do whatever is best for you. We're gonna switch on over towards our right leg. So keeping that slight bend in our standing left leg um, here, keeping our right foot flexed. We have all of our weight in that left leg, just slightly hovering by our right foot and over the ground to get used to this stance. We're gonna keep our right foot flexed, sending that heel towards our glute and lowering it back down. Keeping those hips tucked under. If we wanted to, we wouldn't need any support at all. Already feeling it kick in in that hamstring here. Doing this full range of motion for our last four. Last two. On this last one, we're gonna be making halfway up and going all the way up. Or halfway down, all the way up. <laughs> However you like to think of it this morning. Let's check on that posture. Are our shoulders up, back and down? Is our chest proud? Maybe feel that core is it engaged this morning. Doing this for our last four, last three, last two. We're gonna move into that static hold. Bring that heel as close to your glute as you can. Holding it here, holding that tension. Feeling it work. Such a simple movement, but working so many of those muscles for four, three, two, and one. Slowly lowering down, shaking out those legs. We're already going to be moving into our bar, bar portion, if you can admit, uh, oh, not bar, excuse me, our floor portion, if you can imagine that. So go ahead, move your barrier, whatever it might be, out of the way and slowly make it down to a seated position on your mat with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going into a bridge portion um, of our class. So if you would like, you can grab the weights if you have them nearby. That's just as an added um, tool that you can use um, during this portion. But we're gonna be, I'll be turning around, sitting up, we're letting our feet, you can either choose if you would like them to be shoulder width distance apart or I put them in first position stance with those heels together, toes pointed wide. That allows us to target those hamstrings a little bit more. Um, than just simply our glutes um, in the normal stance. So find whatever position is most comfortable for you. Slowly lower down. Bring our backs towards the mat. Oh, I feel bad. I'm kind of in the shadows this morning. Um, hopefully you can still see um, my body, but we're gonna be going into our full range of motion bridge. So tucking our hips under. Imagining that we have two headlights on those hips, like we said before. So they're pointed up, shining on the ceiling as, as we speak. We're going to start by slowly detaching those hips from the ground and just lowering down one inch here. So as we do this, we should only feel this targeting our glutes, our lower back, 
should be glued to the ground. It's like, it's okay if it slightly comes up. That's part of the movement, but we shouldn't feel any stretch in our lower back. We're generating power from our glutes and our hamstrings. So checking in, making sure those shoulders aren't creeping up towards our ears. When those hips are tucked underneath, we should feel our core kick in here, our ribs come down. Doing this for our last four, just this slight movement. On this last one, we're gonna push on up into our full range of motion bridge, sending those hips high into the air and lowering them back down. Feeling those glutes kick in. We're squeezing them together as we hit the top of our stance and slowly lowering down. Doing this simple range of motion for our last four before we spice it up. Checking in on that breath for our last two. Feeling it work those glutes on our last one. We're gonna meet me at the top of our stance. I know everyone's favorite part of the bridge, right at the top, feeling those glutes kick in. We're gonna pulse up for one, two, and then bring those knees together, squeeze them together for one, two. So don't actually let those knees touch, but just bring those inner thighs towards one another. This is our challenge position here. Doing our two pulses and our two squeezes, making sure that we're only targeting those glutes here. If you want an added challenge this morning, you can lift your heels up off the ground to bring it to our releve. And I'm immediately feeling it kick in those hamstrings and those glutes. Doing this for four more sets here together. Squeezing together for two and pulsing for two. That pulse might not feel like anything, but it's working on our last set here. And we're gonna slowly lower it back down towards the ground. Maybe take a little break here, going right back into those full reps. This time, bringing our hips up on one and then slowly lowering down for three, two, one. So coming up together, bring those hips up for one and three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. So as you slowly lower down, target those hips, squeeze those glutes together. Check on those hips, make sure that they're tucked underneath. Go as slow as you can here. Up, three, two, one. Breathing throughout this motion. We're doing it for our last four. Three, two, one. We got two more together. Last one. We're gonna go right back in those pulses and those squeezes. So meet me at the top of your bridge, pulsing up one, two, squeezing together, one, two. Let's push ourselves here. We got four sets. Two more sets here together. Breathing through on our left one, squeezing together, one, two. Go ahead, slowly lower those legs down to the ground. You can even let your legs go long. Taking a nice break here. 
before we go into our core segment of our class and we are killed our floor section transitioning over into our core now so we want to plant our feet just like we were going back and do a bridge but slowly making our way back up to seated so you can push up off the mat do whatever you need to do we want to stay in this seated stance now so our feet are going to be shoulder width distance apart feeling very grounded in those in those heels um, just like before if we were standing we're going to bring our shoulders up back and down take a neat, nice deep breath in here bring them up and as we exhale we send them back down behind us let's check on on that core should feel it engaged we're going to let our arms come nice in front of us into our boat position sinking down one inch and coming up one inch so finding that pressure point so i know right here i'm already feeling it kick in and coming one inch out of it. So we should have a really strong base here. We shouldn't be shut, hunched over in any way. We have that proud chest. Our gaze is maybe in that 45 degree plane, if you can imagine it. We had laser beams coming out of our eyes. You would see a perfect diagonal. Feeling this kick in those lower abs. Doing this for four, three, two. On this last one, we're opening up to the side as we come out and alternating. So keeping one arm straight ahead and sending the other towards our side, making a perfect 90 degree angle with those arms. Checking in on that motion. While our arms are helpful and sending our torso to the side, we're most worried about making sure that we're getting that nice twist in our torso, working those obliques in this motion. Doing this for our last four, last three, last two. We're going back into our normal motion on our last one. So sending it one inch back, one inch forward. I know my shoulders are creeping up, but check in on those, check in on those hips, make sure they're tucked underneath. For four here, before we go into back into our side. Last two, last one. This time sending it towards our side and bring it back up, side, back up. So you can even hold it stable midway down or you can keep moving. Doing this for our last four, last three, last two, and last one. Stretching it on up, we can take a nice stretch, however you may need. I know, I know I'm going into a little bit of a butterfly with my feet. Getting that nice stretch in those inner thighs. Just taking a break here, whatever that might mean for you. Maybe getting a nice arm stretch in. Taking a few deep breaths here. We're going to transition into a push-up portion. So if you do have any shoulder or wrist issues, um, then you can also modify this portion um, you can lay down back onto the ground um, working the, that lower um, the lower abs again we can bring our feet into a 90 degree angle and go into our dip downs here but if you would like to join me i'll be working in the push-up portion this morning so i'm going to leave my knees on the ground as we go into a push-up but feel free if you want that added challenge to go onto your toes. So, like I said before, we're gonna start with our knees, shoulder width distance apart. We have a perfect line from our shoulders to our hips, towards our knees, beautiful. So we're gonna place our hands down on the mat. Um, we're gonna start in our tabletop. So we have that nice flat back. 
our hands are directly underneath our shoulders. We're making a perfect square with our body and the mat. Slowly sending our knees just one inch back on either side. You should feel really grounded um, as you have that line into your feet. So I know the tops of my feet are pointed down into the mat um, and I feel really stable here. So you can leave your feet on the mat or you can bring them on up however you like to do it. I'm going to leave my on the mat this morning, maybe crawl out my arms just a little bit, find however you need to adjust. We just want to make sure that we have that long line from our shoulders towards our hips. We're going to be going down into our push-up, so half all the way down we're going to, and then stretch back on up, bending our elbows in that 45 degree angle towards our side. So a lot of push-ups you might see go in towards your body or make a perfect line with those forearms. But here we're just going to go 45 degrees to the side, not 90 degrees towards our side. Feeling it work those triceps. I know I'm only going a little bit down, but I'm still feeling it. Doing eight here together. Exhaling on our way down or on our way back up. Pushing away from that mat. We got four more here together. Let's kill it. Last two. And last one. Stretching back on up. I'm going to take a break. Hanging out on my heels. But do whatever feels best for you. This morning, we have one more set of our push-ups together. Um, and then we're going to be trans transferring into our cool down already. So you guys killed bar this morning. Um, just one last set and then we're home free. So pushing back into our push-up. We're going down for eight here together, making sure that we're checking in on that form. Starting it off with me in three, two, one, going down, pushing back up, that's one. Checking in on that breath. We're already halfway done, got four more together. Two more here. And one more, eight. Great work, guys. We're gonna transfer into our cool down here. So we can start by doing a nice arm stretch, sending our right arm across our chest. Grabbing above or below that elbow joint. We're gonna switch sides, sending our left arm across our chest this time. Maybe getting some nice wrist rolls here. Maybe some nice neck movement, moving your head side to side. Not letting it come up or down. Releasing that left arm. We're gonna go back in to our tabletop position. Don't worry, we won't be doing anything too long here. We're gonna be going into our cat and our cow. So we're gonna be sending our torso towards the mat. In our cow. And then arching that back, letting those eyes come down towards our quad. Taking that nice deep breath in as we push on up our head and breathing out as we arch that back. Doing this for just two more sets here. One last one. So we're not in cat, we're not in cow. We're just gonna bring our um, back into a perfect line into our tabletop. Let's flip those feet, let those toes point down towards the ground. We're gonna send our hips into the air, push back into our down dog. Let our chest fall towards those quads here. Maybe stepping out those legs, bending them one at a time. Maybe bending one arm at a time, sinking in each deep out of your body. 
staying very mobile here. So we can even transfer our weight towards our toes, back towards our heels, keeping a nice alert body. We're going to send our knees down towards the floor now. Bring our toes together. We're pushing back into our child's pose. Taking this nice deep breath here together. We're going to take our left arm, thread it underneath our right, send it wide. Let our, our shoulder come down towards the floor. Our gaze towards, go towards that right hand. Slowly releasing that arm. I lied to you guys, that was my left hand. <laughs> Switching sides, bending the other underneath, threading it through, letting our gaze go towards that extended hand. Pushing a little deeper into our child's pose here. Unraveling that arm, we're going to push back out of our child's pose into our tabletop. Again, flipping those feet, we're going into our downward dog, sending that chest towards those quads. Doing this for our last stretch of the class. We're going to begin to slowly walk those feet towards our hands. Go into our forward fold, bending those knees if you may need to. Just worry about bringing your chest down towards those quads. We're going to take one last deep breath in here together at the class. So we take our deep breath in. We're stretching those hands towards the sky. Breathing in through our nose as we exhale, sending those hands down towards our sides. Thank you guys so much for joining me for bar this morning.